Okay, so in the last uh, video I ended saying that the next video is going to be uh, making the comment box area where someone can actually comment. Well, uh, to be clean and tidy with our code, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick bit of um, tidying up with our code. Um, use PHP um, to, as it, to, as it, to its extent okay, and tidy the code up very slightly. So um, what I've done so far is all I've done is I've minimized uh, this um, this comment holder as much as possible um, to get rid of all of the spaces now this one bit here is just all this the comment of the person will go here and so on um, okay and then I've just tidied the other one up so it's down here as well okay now what we want to do potentially is with inside of our document root we're just gonna um, make some includes in here and we're actually just going to strip out this information um, make um, some includes so we'll then come to here and we're going to cut this one li out and we're going to make a new file inside of our includes as a php file and we're just going to say comments and then box that's going to be then comment box php now in here we're just going to paste it in well there and then just come over to here and we just bump it over um, to the left you can press the shift and then the tab key um, multiple times to bump it over okay and that's going to sit nicely in there uh, until we want to use it later because I don't particularly want to rewrite this code oh and that's all okay there yeah it's given us some um, errors but it'd be fine okay so now we can um, get rid of this one here so now we just got the UL itself and we just pop some PHP in here and we're just going to say require once now I'm a big fan of using absolute paths so we're just going to say document roots and actually you know what um, before we do that we're actually going to add a little bit of PHP um, file into it as well and let's just add another one and say um, uh, defines okay this this is going to be, uh, you'll see in a minute what we're going to do with it. So we're just going to add a, a file up here and say um, then uh, require once and we'll say server, whoops, is that on or off? Oh it's on, it's on. Okay, document root and then uh, we want to say then defines.php. In this defines uh, we're going to define um, some some variables okay so let's go to our defines.php let's junk all of this because we don't need it and we're going to say define okay and we're going to say uh, doc root so we don't have to type this out all the time I don't want to type out um, server document root all the time so now that's there and let's just pop um, a forward slash on the end it, it's already dependent on um, whether it your document root has a forward slash on the end or not uh, so just to explain this let's stay in here and let's just say echo server document root it's just to show you whether it's got um, a forward slash on the end so let's come back to our page let's refresh it and as you can see my document root does have a forward slash on the end um, therefore we don't particularly need to worry about this Okay, but it's just all dependent on whether your document root has a forward slash on the end or not. If it doesn't, then add one there. Now, you can use, um, yeah, okay, so that's fine. Now, a little bit more housekeeping. We're going to say define. I'm going to say ds, which is directory separator. And this is already a built-in um, constant um, with inside PHP. Now, this is dependent on whether you're using uh, Windows or Linux um, and so on, or Unix as such. Um, to say whether it's going to be a forward slash or a backslash okay um, so we're going to use this one uh, constant instead um, to then use it instead of writing the forward slash or backslash all the time it's a little bit of messing around but um, at a later stage it's a lot cleaner now we're also then going to say uh, define and then we're going to say includes and this is then going to be um, doc roots and then we got the directory separator um, already on the end and then we're going to say then the includes folder followed by dot followed by ds okay so every single time we need um, a, an include then we just got to say includes 
uh, and so on that's basically it so to show you what I'm talking about require once we can get rid of this server document root we can just say includes and then um, and what do we want we want comment box dot PHP okay don't be scared by this if you've not seen it before okay it's a very very um, good way a good method to reduce the amount of code that you're writing down and to make certain that um, all of the folder paths and stuff always stay the same now if you do decide to change your includes directory then the rest of your code is going to work still okay rather than you having to go through every single page uh, of all your code to then change the require once this folder that folder this folder you don't get any error messages saying hey I can't find this one folder so it, it's just a good way of or it's a good way of doing it to make certain that you find the fi files all the time okay um, so that's that bit done now we can come over to our our code here and as you can see the the text still goes in there properly now just for the sake of of making it look uh, like a proper comment box um, what we're going to say is require um, comment box require once now that's not totally um, what we want uh, we want to be able to have um, this one comment box so we can um, we can fill it with data all the time okay so uh, potentially what we need is some way of being able to capture this information okay um, to, to loop around all the time um, so without making it too complicated we um, um, let me have a think about it well I'm going to leave this for this tutorial and have a think about uh, how we're going to do it later but I, don't, I just particularly don't um, yeah okay now that's cool that's cool in our comment boxes what we're going to say right is up here um, we're then going to say yeah okay no it's fine the the for each we haven't got these yet oh, we need to have some PHP here David <coughs> what we can use some shorthand on here for each comments as key comments then we're going to do <coughs> do whatever's with inside of this one file and we're going to end this then with an end for each here okay so although comments isn't um, isn't defined yet um, we're going to define it potentially um, with inside of here so we, we require that once and and we'll just say comments um, is equal to array and um, for the sake of purposes of the doing this we're just going to um, put populate it with a couple of things okay um, this don't worry about this all right this is just meaning that it's going to loop around four times okay um, potentially this array this comments here is going to contain a whole bunch of data from the database okay but we need to um, to make a way of looping around them already okay so I want to display four elements this is just an array of four items therefore this comment for each will loop four times and display this text four times okay so don't get too concerned about this let's refresh this okay line 42 and comments box oh it's because I put that in there okay we just want a semicolon on a colon sorry on there and refresh it and as you can see now we get four uh, four comments come down now this potentially makes a couple more errors because our um, wrapper was height of 600 so we need to change this wrapper height and that was up here so we changed the wrapper height to auto okay so now that's auto now we can come back to our page and have another uh, refresh and have another look okay now it sits in um, properly but to be quite honest with you the 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 separation between the two um, li's I don't like this five okay the, the the gap between I want it to be a little bit bigger than that so let's um, modify this very slightly now rather than searching through the whole file let's use firebug to tell us where it was so line 73 okay that then had margin top and bottom so we're going to say bottom is equal to 10 pixels that should just be enough 
Okay, that bumps it down, which is good. Um, yeah, no, no, I like that. That's perfectly fine. So now we've got four four comments that are here. Okay, now if we want to add uh, another comment in, for example, for the time being, then we'll just add another one in there, and it will put put five in there. Okay, don't be concerned about why I'm doing this. All right, I'm doing this for a simple reason of to loop five. So make our um, our for each loop here loop around five times when it comes to extracting the data from the database this comment here is going to be an object of the row in the database okay so therefore in the comment we're then going to say the image we're then going to say the name then the comment text and so on okay so we're going to do that in the next few steps I'm just I'm just preparing the code for, for later on okay right um, that's it we're we'll then going to crack on in the next tutorial with the actual comment box itself. I just wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping, all right, first of all. But everything I do, I will explain as we go on, all right? So, see you in the next tutorial.